Hello, BB Gangsters, this is Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is my first ever playthrough of Genshin Impact. And just right off the top, uh, this is something that, like, I didn't understand what it was. I didn't even understand it when someone commented about this before. Uh, this is a gift that was given to me by a subscriber named Don Rat. Uh, who was also a member of the channel. Thank you very much for that. One of the few members of the channel. Um, <laughs> like, really just like a really pleasant gift. Um, I had no idea about this at all. Um, I literally thought it was just like some magical event that was happening. <laughs> Language, oh, the Elon Musk has a little thing. Oh, that's our, our commissions. I would love to talk to Elon Musk. Um, yeah, I thought it was literally just like, oh, like that that's really cool. Like it's a, it's an event going on. It must be the Lantern Ride Festival. We're giving everyone free 90 PO Preo gems. Uh, so, I don't usually log in every day. It's not something I tend to do all the time. Uh, I log in three days a week. But for this, 110%, I'm going to just do a quick login every day so we can get those um, gems. Um, for sure. So, let's check our little menu here. We have nothing in our mail. We have our achievements, which we've gotten before. Um, change name card. Edit nickname. Set birthday. Man. My birthday... No one even knows. And no one ever will know. I have a big thing about birthdays in real life, too. Um, because even, like, like some of my closest friends... Like, my, obviously my best friend knows when, when my birthday is. But, like, I never, like, do the, like, Hey, my birthday's coming up, by the way. <laughs> my birthday's coming up. Which is nothing wrong with that. Do, do that if you want. You know, everyone needs a day for themselves or a day for themselves. I love, and this sounds so bad, I love spending my birthday just playing games and stuff. So what, like, people are telling me that I can now get, uh, there's notices here. They said there's other stuff I can get, like, in the menu. Like, here maybe? Yes, we can claim stuff in here. Nice. Great. 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 Um, well, this one was the... This thing. Purchase level. We can... Wait, you required 750. This is this still... Oh, you can claim stuff from here too. You're just for logging in. <laughs> okay. And also this. Oh, ma oh my. Uh, okay. Um, cool. Um... This, of course, is... May the fortune find you. Wait, we... Wait, what? Wait, what? So this is what people are telling me to... You just get free stuff every day. If you log in. So I'm gonna log in every day and get this stuff. Look at this. Seven <laughs> intertwined fates. That's incredible. This is an incredible time for all of us. This is the, this is your birthday now, guys. Happy birthday. Uh, you. Um, but yeah, we're going to be uh, doing our commissions first, as usual, to start off. So let's go to our first commission, which will be over here. If we unlock this, it would have been in a very better spot, but we'll go from here. Actually, we might as well start with this one, then. Yeah. I'm at a stage with these, uh, with these commissions where, like, they're, like, such a fantastic way to start uh, any video. Like, I love the idea of just, like, you know, easing into something, not going too heavy into any story or any big quest. It's just like, hey, destroy these evil monsters. And it's like, don't mind if I do. I'll destroy all of them for you. That's what I'll do. Um, and like, that that's what makes it kind of fun. I will destroy all of these guys for you. Wait, oh, there you go. Nice little swirl going on as well, am I right? That's like, this This move here? Oh, tried to get that execution going there. Uh, Sayu. Get a little swirl going. Sayu, the, the most over overpowered character in our whole team. Commission complete. So we already have enough to wish. We have three wish. We have more than three wishes. But if we complete our commissions, we will have even more than three wishes. You know what I mean? Ella Musk is the one who talks to uh, monsters, right? So we can talk to her about our monsters. She talks to Hilly Churls, I should say. She talks to Hilly Churls. That's like a what you call it? A pop punk song. Like a 
or a punk rock song or a punk pop song, you know? She talks to hilly churls, I talk to mandrakes. Like that type of song? I don't know. Maybe I'm. Maybe it's. Maybe I think there's genuine. There's a genuine thing. Now, like, and ah, uh, it's you. Hello. And like, here's the thing. Who gives a damn, right? Like, I think that the wars between millennials, Gen Z, Gen X, is so stupid because it's like, man, we all just like video games. Who gives a damn? Um, but like, of course, like, I think it's okay to be like, hey, man, I feel very, very old sometimes. Whatever, like. People are like, man, I wish I could go back to 2015 when I was a kid. <laughs> and you're like, oh god. <laughs> man, 2015 was some year. <laughs> it always feels very weird, doesn't it? Elon Musk down there. The son, the daughter of a muskie. Skunk. It is I. Hello, Ella. Travel here, over here. Don't, don't startle those hilly trolls over there. Why are you always running to hilly troll camps? Forget it. It's not important. I've been researching hilly trolling for some time. But I'd much rather get in some actual speaking practice than constantly going over books. I've finally stumbled across the whole hilly troll camp. I cannot let this opportunity pass me by. So, Traveler, can you go with me to the camp and help me find a hilly troll to practice with? Sure, girl. Let's go. Wait, no, m my word, just to exactly taught you to go bashing hilly trolls around like that. Let's compose ourselves, go over there and politely introduce ourselves. Girl, we did this before, and you nearly died. Fool you, fool me once, shame on me. Fool you twice, e Ella Musk. Thankfully, there's one awake right now. That's him, let's go over and say hi. Be careful, it'll be rude to wake the other ones. We don't want them thinking we're storming into their camp to attack them. You know what? Uh, you know what? Sure. Hello, sir. How are you? We're just coming in for a conversation. Oh, my Mimi Mousy Baba. Yo, Mimi Bursu Abrace. Buka Metini Guru Muko Mose. Yo, Dama, don't go there, Buka Kuru Guru Nai. Me, Dada, Valo. Dada killed you last time. Whatever Dada means, you're done. Vala, yo, domo. Hey, look how he's acting. He seems so happy. Look at this. He's finally... Oh, go what? Really? Okay, that's great. Oh, my God. We did it. Ella, you did it. Why do you think my hill train not so bad, huh? Now that we can communicate all the needs to understand each other is time. That's what I hope for, anyway. My dream is to become friends with the hilly churls. Oh, right, before I forget, take this present from that hilly churl. A present from Hilly Churl, I bet you thought you'd never see the day. Well, I better get going. I have so many new discoveries to note down. Perhaps we'll have a chance to meet again. Oh my god. That that went better than anything I could have ever hoped. You know what? I might even leave them alive. We'll leave them alive. He's dancing. You know, he's dancing away. Okay, next commission. We're going to is over here. Actually, should we check out this temple over here? <laughs> the Misuru Courtyard. Uh, so this is level 34. Uh, you get some nice things. I mean, like... Pfft. And, like, eventually you get nicer flowers. Um... I mean, we might as well. This is the party. This is, this is our party. They are the greatest party in the history of Genshin Impact. There is no better party. When melt is triggered, an energy blast will occur, dealing damage to surrounding opponents. Oh, when melt is triggered, so we have to like use fire, I guess. But I guess we need. Uh, it might. They might not be ice. Okay, they are ice creatures. Great. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Melt style. Did the game lie? Look at that. Oh, now they're wet. Honestly, like, it's just super fun, uh, even trying out these trials. Like, it's super, super fun. Let's get a few, uh, let's get some electricity done on these guys a bit. So we can go in for the, the little kill there, look. Get a little swirl going on as well, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm actually I'm actually very glad we switched around swords a bit, you know what I mean? It actually feels very good. Um and sometimes like 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 when I'm playing an RPG sometimes when I, when I remember like I remember as a kid, oh my god, as like as like as teenage Calvin, oh you should have seen it guys. It was so funny. I wouldn't even pay attention to what weapon I had. I'd just be like, okay, whatever, let's go for it. But then as I like got older, like like I think I talked about in the last one how I would play games like Dark Souls and be like, oh man, like so like changing your weapon is actually like the most fun thing in the world. We should try it more often. You know what I mean? Like and and I did, and like it's like, oh, that is really cool. But like in games like this, like in RPGs like this, I'm always just looking at like, oh, this weapon does more damage than that one. That one does more damage than this one. Um, so it's always very difficult, isn't it? Because like sometimes, you know, as a watcher, it's like, oh, well, try this weapon now. It's much better, you know? Try it out for yourself. Look at that. Mel should have been doing damage. Out. Like, I mean, wow. I taste blood. Same. But not mine. <laughs> not mine. <laughs> I love the side he was trying though. We have not totally decided on the Sayu thing yet. Um I like her in the party just because she's like one of my favorite she's my favorite character so far, I'd say, maybe apart from Razor. Um so like I kind of do have like this this affinity towards her because like she was like the first character I got that was like oh my god like you know this is amazing do we head up here whereas you know I feel like the other characters I have are fantastic um, but Sai was kind of has like seniority over them almost you know I will eventually be able to level up you know it's not it's not a big deal. Uh, Let's leave the domain. We're not doing any higher than the levels we are right now. I'm pretty content with the levels we're at right now, I should say. Okay, so next thing we're going to be doing is then going over to here. It's kind of crazy. We finish each other's sentences. Um, Genshin Impact just makes me very happy to play. Like, it's, it's, it's... We've done this one so many times, but it's okay. Like it's it's it it makes me like it like there's a genuine joy playing Genshin Impact because I really feel like it's one of those games that you get like the best of all the worlds that I could want to. like it has everything I love about video games rolled into one. It has story that's not like totally overwhelming to the point that there's like 300 cutscenes per minute. You know what I mean? Uh, it has gameplay that is not just like completely centered around. You know, we should have set him on fire first. Let's be honest here. It is gameplay that is like, you know, uh, that is hefty. It's hefty gameplay. And when I say hefty gameplay, I, I literally just mean that like there's a lot of it and it's a lot of fun. Uh, and it's not like this thing where like it's few and far between. It's a constant in this game in the best way possible, you know? Teamwork is dreamwork. Your shield will burn. Your people will die. Um, and like as well, like, on any given day, depending on my own mood, like, I can literally, like, change, like, what I'm doing in, in Genshin. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, like, today, and that was the other, like, that was last week. It's like, hey, I'm not having a great week. You know what I mean? So instead of, like, reading a bunch of books, which, like, I don't think I have the capabilities to do right now, let's just do a bunch of gameplay stuff. Let's just do a bunch of, like, you know, cool side story gameplay stuff. And that game allows for that. You know what I mean? Like, and I really feel like, Oh wow, here? I really feel like I more than ever understand the concept of a comfort game. I know like people are gonna be like, oh Calvin, like how can you only understand that now? But like I genuinely was one of those people that like like years ago, and like I'll I'll say it, like no problem. Uh was one of those people that's like a comfort character, a comfort game? That's so goddamn silly. That's so silly. And then like I remember like Years ago, there's this wrestler called Jeff Jarrett, right? He is what well, many people to be considered to be a carny. And a carny. Oh, she said, I meet my ski. Um, uh, a carny. Uh, which is like someone who's like a charlatan, basically. But like, there's something about this character, this wrestler who is a character, that comforts me. Whenever he like 
enters a ring or he's, he's in the ring. His blonde flowing locks, his mustache. And this sounds so weird. For some reason, it's like I, I feel so much better almost instantly thanks to like Jeff Jarrett. And again, I know that sounds, maybe it doesn't sound weird because it's a wrestler, but like. It's really easy to hide in weather like this. There's this new she loves describing this all the time. Snow. You can pretty much make yourself invisible. Where's the third one? All other people there see is. when they look at you is the snowflakes dancing in the air. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's confidential though. Don't tell any of this to the shrine me. I might not. Nice, look at that. Crimson Agate. And we can just use this to go over here. I mean, we're going over there anyway. Let's defeat all these enemies. Um, Makes you so good. And then, like, you know what, like, as well? Like, I've started embracing that then. You know what I mean? Because, like, um, there's a, you know, you know, Carmi. And this is such a weird cover character to have. Carmi, uh, Carm Car Bozzetto in, uh, in The Bear. Like, and maybe just, like, Jeremy Allen White in general. Because, like, it's the same thing in uh, when I play, what you call it? When I play, um, or when I watch Shameless, I'm still like, oh my god, like, you know, he makes me feel so good. And like, I think it's totally like okay to have a comfort character, like Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? Like, you know, yeah, you yeah. You it's it's like if, if something gets you through the day, better for you. You know what I mean? Ain't none of my business. Wait, ice bomb? That's so cool. Why do they never miss? And then vaporized into the water and then electrocuted. Look at that. Freaking awesome. Where's the other guys? Oh here dear. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, we're in trouble. Electrocution. Little fire to overload you guys. Stay in this. Block him off there a bit. Sayu time. Get out of here! Out of the way! Melt this down. Get out of here! Nice. And he goes into the water, we let you get him. Yeah. Yeah, maybe Carmi Brizado is not like because because the, the bear gives anything but comfort nowadays, huh? Where's the there's a okay there's a quest over here. There's also a quest a little marker over here too. There's a little trial over here as well. Um, let's go. Open the chest in thirty seconds. <laughs> Who do you think I am? I'm a wolf. Wolves literally hunt in packs. These Get out. things useful? Okay, so I'm guessing we head over this way. Yeah, it, 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 I know I know what it does with the cold. I know like it, it, it makes the cold even like more deadly. Um but maybe we can get out of the cold over here and talk to Tommy. Why didn't I read the fine print? If only I had taken this commission. What's getting you down? I'm talking about a commission that I took a while back. I thought at the time it was Lord Reiki Commission, and what was more, the commissioner was Sue. Uh, I mean, a lady alchemist whose work I admired uh, for a time now. At the time, I thought we were able to strike up some sort of long-term cooperative relationship. Should I complete the mission? From what I regained in my senses, I, I realized that I'd bitten off more than I could chew. Is the commission that difficult? Well, it's not... I just need to collect some alchemist regens, but I didn't realize that the location was Dragonspine. Once you factor in the location, this suddenly becomes a commission for top-ranking Avengers only. Something clearly went wrong with Guild's rating for this commission, but I'm also at a fault for not checking the details carefully. <sighs> do you want me to do something, Tommy? Oh, you're not the quest. <laughs> Sorry, Tommy. <laughs> Who are you? Hello. This is terrible. What am I going to do? It's my beacons. I've gone and left a load of them up on the mountain. There's no way I can continue my research now. Oh, after all, I spent all this money on them too. Well, I wanted to do some research into the conditions of the mountain, the climate, and the environment, and so on, so I invested in an expensive set of survey beacons. 
Then I scaled to the mountain with a team of explorers. I was just putting the beacons in place when we were set upon a huge group of monsters. They came out of nowhere. I didn't manage to grab them all before I left. The explorers insisted that we leave immediately. They also said they're not going back, uh, to back up anytime soon. What about our beacons? The monster will smash them to pieces. Can you collect them for me, please? I promise they're very easy to find. All right, then. Thank you for a thousand times over. No, a million times. What's in this for me? Uh, a reward, of course. I'll make it worth your while, I swear. So thanks in advance. You know what? Bah! Watch you get that. So, okay, so like at least they have a marker on where they are. You know what I mean? To me, we're sw we're golden. I'm gonna go over and kill that guy. Look at that. He's very smug. One second. Watch this. Level 52. Level 52 bon Bonkaroo. It's gonna be his name. Is watch. Watch this now. Level 42. Level 42. Level 42. Bonkaroo. Level 33. Not too bad. Another we go. Oh my god, look at this guy. Big boy. We've seen a big boy like this before. Oh god, now you're on fire. This is a bit embarrassing, isn't it? Honestly, Sayu cinched everything, you know what I mean? As usual. Get out of here! Out of the way! He's just electric by default. You know what I mean? Just just an electric boy by default. Let's end this quickly! Dude says, got it, got to die. Oh, we're not wasting our little, uh, we can use that for the next fight. Man, you gotta learn how to swing that hammer. I actually know somebody could do Oh, we got a hammer user in this game? Pirate ship style. Oh, there's someone over here as well. Okay, one second. I do love my job. Oh God, everyone is dead. Overloaded, but still holds his gun. You gotta, you gotta respect it. And he's even stuck in a tent and he's fighting. You know what I mean? That's what you call a, a, a great fighter. You know what I mean? Like this is like. I wouldn't be able to do it, you know what I mean? Stuck in a tent and still fighting. Where'd you go? Oh, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> Stuck in a tent and still, like, honestly, more than we've ever done. What have we ever done with our lives? Yeah, like, what have we ever done? Nice. Good for storage. Carmen, you're wasting XP books. We get like 30,000 every episode. 30,002, really. Oh, what, what do you mean, careless? Look at that, now you're in water. Now you're water boy. Come for you next, come for you next, come for you next. You are an awesome character, I'll be honest with you. But one thing you have to learn is that when Ben and Razor are around, you're gonna get sayed. Are you honestly just making yourself susceptible to my damage? Was this the plan all along? Okay. Get the swinger dingered. That's what I say. Dude, I'm over here. In fairness, though, we're fighting them one by one. Uh, which makes things like a lot easier. Oh, there's another enemy around here? Oh. This one's well done. Oh. He has a shield like a little shield on himself as well. Which is interesting. I might actually set Oh god. I might actually set Sayu out here like this to do this first. So we can like heal up. And like also, like, what's crazy is, like, 
he has like this weird we're not gonna be able to hit him from here he has like this weird like hyper armor as well which I always find weird on any enemy that's like small you know what I mean that's like a, that, that's a small boy Look at that. Oh my god, that was actually that was actually intentional. It was, actually I wanted to just, just smash him. Okay, that wasn't intentional. Though. You know what would be intentional though? This. Oh, I get it now. These guys are like ghosts because they keep getting stuck in the rocks in the tents. If I was like, like, yeah, if I was like doing no damage to my enemy, like at this point in my life, and like, I knew I was doing no damage to my enemy, like, and I was getting stuck in the rocks, I was getting pushed back constantly, now I'm doing damage to my enemy, like, I would probably give up, like, I would give up the life. Empty chest, good for storage. There we go. Okay, let's go get this uh, girl's beacons. Ha is there any fast travel point that's close to them? It's all in this area here. Right here, actually. Perfect. That's interesting now that they're giving us quests that are tailored towards this area. Do we have a... I think we have some over here, right? Yeah, there's some over there. But honestly, that's not going to matter because, like, it's... Yeah, that's not going to matter at all. I know why I did that. Because, like, the, the time it takes to get over there again, the, the, it'll be gone. It'll be gone till we die. Anyway, I'm flying. Flying makes you warmer in my world. Okay. This area over here, maybe? No, that's just... Because I saw it shining. No, maybe not. It has to be, then, these enemies over here, right? Or at least, like... Even if it's not these enemies over here, dispatching them would probably be a good idea. Let's go over and get these items over here. You know what I mean? Just getting rid of them would be smart. Hello. Put your back into it. Nice little overload there, you know what I mean? For an evil laugh, you got you need, you you need to like rein in the evil laugh. You know what I mean? And your little shields, not funny. <laughs> I would say get that little shield off you. You know what I mean? I would say I would say you know that little that, that little shield. Unfortunately, no one finds funny. You know what I mean? Like I totally get it. You know your mom said it was cool to have a shield like that. But in reality, it's just going to make this boss battle go even further. Or even longer than it should. Let's end this quickly, Let's end this quickly he says. Out of the way. Teamwork is dreamwork. And actually with Bennett, like, it's actually probably good to just fight him solely with Bennett because then we can avoid being... I know we can need some food as well to avoid being frozen. But, like, we can build up our heat while also, like, building up our special move, which gives us that heat. You know what I mean? his dream work or is it i think we need to talk about that you know we need to talk about catchphrases this isn't good 
Now, the beacons might not even be in this chest, but, like, getting rid of them is, is a good idea anyway. You know what I mean? Like, it, like, so we can explore properly, it is probably a good idea to get rid of them. So we need to find the beacons in this general area. Is it is it in the water there? Because look, look, look what it's doing in the water. It's doing a little thing. Meet my ski. Oh, there's something over there. I can see something over there. Look at that right there. There's some people in the comments that, um, and it's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> they keep saying that it's, uh, uh, <laughs> make my escape, which is super funny. Um, when it's meet my ski. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's why I like you guys. You're, you guys are very silly, you know? And you, like, come up with, like, really funny stuff. Um... Like, I, like, gen generally, like, I saw, like, genuinely I saw someone being like, you know, it's, it's actually make my escape. Um, <laughs> like, I don't know, like, that's, that's the type of banter I love. I love it, you know what I mean? You know, you know, we, 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 we make up stuff to be funny and stuff. So that's another beacon. Is there any other beacons around here? There has to be one in, like, the water, because they keep pointing towards the water, like, hey, it's in the water. Hey, ma'am, how are you? Have you met Bennett? He's a good boy. Oh, he's she's doing uh, super. Oh, well, the super conductor's working, so. You don't get your me. You do, Alicia. After yeah, okay. Awesome. Is this what's this? Oh, okay. Okay. Um Yeah, I'll take this, no problem. It's a miracle. I'm guessing one has to be in the water or something, right? The way they're like marking this down. Maybe not. Um, so, well, it has to be in this. Well, now are you dead? Are you happy you ever gave us this quest? Okay. So it stretches all around here, so. Let's go around the edges first of all. Oh, there's one. There's a cabbage. What were you we looking for? Oh yeah, they could be over here too. Now, I wonder if they're easier to see in the nighttime than in the daytime. Oh, I, I thought this was a thing. No? Oh, we actually unlocked a chest somehow. A reward on the road. <laughs> the one time I'm actually not trying to unlock something. <laughs> Don't know why I went for crystallize instead. Let's just try and destroy these guys as quick as possible. And see if we can get a beacon. I'm, I'm guessing it's just like, again, like, it can be anywhere in the circle. Adventure time. Let's just try up here. Off we go. Because that's why the circle is there for the radius. Make my ski. Make my ski. This is more difficult than I thought. But there's one right there. <laughs> I 
Okay. Let's keep, like, exploring this way. Oh, God. Um... Out of the search area now. Teamwork is dream work. I see through you. You see through me? Looks like I went too far. Okay, can we see anything from up here? Right there. Or is that just a random item? I mean, regardless, we're gonna pick it up anyway. You know what I mean? Oh, it's it's another one that's like. Encrusted. So we'll, let's get this up here. Great. This is a fun little mission. Again, we still have to go and collect our commissions, so. Apparently, there's something else that comes along with the welcome. Like, there, people are trying to explain, they're like, Calvin, this is what else you get with the, the welcome stuff. Um, you know, people explain the terminology. You can explain it again if you want, um, and just slowly. <laughs> Because <laughs> we were like, click the, the jibber jobber and the jibber topper. And I'm always like, what the hell is a jibber topper? What the hell is a jibber bobber? You know what I mean? What the hell is that? What is this over here like? Like this whole thing. Oh, that activates the... Oh, cool, cool. Maybe it's unfreezing the water. Wait. For what? Oh my god. That was actually super cool. So you have to walk them around in a way. Do we walk them in the wrong way? Okay, if you go this way. Oh, on a delay. And you go this way, please. Okay, we need less of a delay, maybe? So, let's start with you. Go that way. You go that way. And you go this way, if that's okay. We need even more of a delay. I get what they're trying to do here. So maybe if we go like super fast. That's not gonna work though. No, no, see we need... Oh, we did it. And that activates this boss. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Bennett time. Uh, out of the way. Why do they never miss? Bennett. Bennett, I was just asking that question. Let's light it up. Okay, we're doing like uh, out of the way. Like okay damage so far, right? Like the overload damage is actually doing very good. But what we might want to do is do this, then this, then this. Um, look at that. Actually, like doing okay. You know what I mean? Not a bad, not a, not a hard boss. Or a hard enemy. Yeah, and you know, and quite a few people, you know, will, will say, you know, you know, it's not, a, it's not a mini boss, Calvin. Uh, I tell you know, 
uh, that's for me to decide, guys. You can you can you can decide your own playthrough if it's not a mini boss. That's fine. To me, if you have a giant health bar and you're in a little mini boss arena, that's a that's a that's a boss, a mini boss. Look at that. Uh, another thing was, and the thing is, like, I have no problem like talking about comment Team etiquette, because uh, comment etiquette is very important to me. And I know people be like, "Oh, I getting scolded?" It's not that at all. It's like you know, just for people aware of like comments that like I'm just not a big fan of. Uh, comments like, and I've said this before, comments like, uh, "This is painful to watch." You will get disregarded for the rest of time. <laughs> Uh, unless like, you know, you're like, oh no, I didn't mean it like that. Then it's like, oh, of course, different. Uh, <laughs> describe for the rest of the time is not true and people know it's not true. It's just kind of a, an expression. But like, it's like, uh, that's, that's, you know, that's not something that uh, I really like, you know, listen to here, I suppose. Uh, another thing is that like, uh, like you can skim videos, by the way. I don't mind people skimming videos. Like it's, it's 100% your prerogative to skim a video. Uh, it's on demand for a reason. You do whatever you want with it. Um, it's on demand for a reason. Uh, but like then... What's this notebook? Seems like sort of record left behind by someone who wants to investigate the area. Wonder, Pyman bet these would be great value. Um, historical value to someone. Let's go ask around. So it's probably gonna be a quest later, maybe? A land entombed. Oh, it is a quest now. Uh, yeah, uh, basically what I'm saying is like... People will skim a video and then say something like, do you know you can do this? And it's like, yeah, we did it in the last video. And like my whole thing is, it's 100% okay. Comment what we want, B it boosts the algorithm. <laughs> Keep commenting it actually. Um, but just so you know, like, you know, skimming a video means that you don't get to see absolutely everything. Um, and the world doesn't exist just in your parameters, if that makes sense. Uh, Cause sometimes it can feel that way when you're, you know, you know it's like, oh, well, you know when you, you ever like stop watching a series or stop watching TV show and go and go no one watches anymore when it's just you? Um, and like you know, it's okay for me to like I don't care what anyone says like it's okay for me to, to kind of snap back a little bit and, and like if I'm a, if I'm a bit snarky who cares like You know, I try to be as nice as possible, but if, if, if people are being silly Okay, Esther, I will be silly back. I think that's fair. I Did indeed here you go Let me see yes, those ones are all right. Oh look at the state of them those monsters clearly went ge uh, weren't gentle with them, but thankfully they're not completely ruined. <sighs> I guess I won't be using them in the near future. Can't be helped. How about to make do with smaller ones? Um, I have some other beacons here. Could you set up... Set Where exactly? Is that a yes? I'll take that as a yes. Thanks, I'll mark the spot on the map for you. There's a mark... Uh, I've marked them all out. Just put the beacons in those general areas. Make sure to put them in the high spots. The higher the altitude, the more accurate the survey. Wow. You know what's crazy? Like, it's really interesting with Mondstadt, and it's always been very interesting in Mondstadt. Like, they have a great culture, they're very free and stuff, I guess. And, like, another part of the culture I find very interesting is that, like, no one ever does anything for themselves. It's very interesting. <laughs> they're not very independent, <laughs> this is what we'll say about the people of Mondstadt. They're not very independent at all. And by the way, I, I, I just realized that I could make it sound like I'm like, uh, people who give me tips are annoying. That's not it at all. It's not it at all. It's like, it's when people will say, you know, you can do this when we've already done it. It's like, man, like, come on, come on, like, come on. And that's not going to mean like, that's not a hatred I'm going to have for you or anything, but you will get like a snarky comment back. I'll just be honest. You will get a comment of being like, uh, we did that. We did that. You know, that you will get that. And in my experience, what usually happens is I, I leave a snarky comment to someone. And when that happens, I get like at least one commenter being like, wow, showing his true colors. I knew he was rude all along. <laughs> um, yeah, well, we'll move on from that topic. Like, I don't want to Drag, drag onto because I always make it seem like it's more important than it is when really I'm just like, you know, I think common etiquette is like a really important thing. Especially when you know you're joining a community as well, you know? Um, it's okay to skim videos as well, by the way. I'm not saying you should you should watch absolutely everything. If you did watch absolutely everything, you know, it, it, it's a good thing. I'd like that because a lot of people do watch absolutely everything. 
But video skimmers, you can do whatever you want. There's another one done. This is actually a very pleasant mission. It's very nice. You know what I mean? It's not not too hard, not too difficult. Just a nice little thing. We still have to go back. I love that like we were going to like go to Liu. We are going to go to Liu. But um, we have to also like have fun in this game and like get as much as we can. I know people are also talking about the Lantern Rite Festival. I've made a decision not just not to do it just because for my own self, um, I think that like the pace I'm going at with the game right now is what I love about this. Like I love the pacing of the game I'm going like, you know, and, and you know, when, when, and I get that people are just trying to help, but when I, when people are like, hey, you know, just, just do this up to this. I was like, that's not how I like to play this game. The reason why this game to me is like near perfect is just because I get to like relax and like have a great time with playing this game. It's so much fun. Like, and like, and here's the thing, I get more stuff out of the Lantern Fight Festival. So yeah, you're like, okay, Calvin, you're, you're spiting yourself in a way. It's, 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 it's Even literally just a, magic. it's literally just a thing day. for me. You know what I mean? It's 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 a thing for me, and 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 not everyone's ever gonna get like, you know, my feelings on stuff all together. But the, you know, it's just how I feel about this. Yeah. Now, also, can I just say, as we're doing this little side quest, I have some of the best commenters ever. People saying that this series is something they wait for all the time. People say that this series is like something that they absolutely adore, that they that they you know they they that gets them through a hard day, they count down the days to the series, uh, and that makes me so freaking happy because for me guys like I, when I was in school and when I was in college, I, I remember that would like, with Markiplier and Epic Name Bro were the guys. They were the guys for me. Uh, I remember legit with Markiplier and Epic Name Bro. Um, that like every day, I'd be like, oh my god, when, when's the next Markiplier video? Oh my god, he uploaded a Slender Mansion video today. Oh my god, I can't wait to watch this when I get home. Or every day when, when Epic Neighbor was playing Dark Souls from the Dark, which was like the best, like, it is legit. And I shouldn't say this because like, you know, promoting other Let's Play channels, but like, you know, he's not a Let's Play channel anymore, so it's, it's fine. Um, the best, easily the best Let's Play on the internet. Um, well, it's it's the best walkthrough anyway. Like, there is no better, uh, thing on the internet. There is no better, um, let's play, in my opinion, on the internet. I love it. It's so good. Um, I actually had an idea, um, for the channel, which was to make, um, I, a couple of ideas, we can talk about them in, in a second, but... All the beacons are in place, yes. Wonderful, that is enormous help. Take these along with my thanks once again for everything. Oh, with so few beacons for the survey, who knows if I'll be able to turn up anything of interest. Nice, thank you so much. We'll take that. Okay, so let's go back to Mondstadt and claim our reward for um, our commissions, which we should have done earlier. But yeah, my like I just had an idea to like, re-edit, oh my, oh, ugh, ugh. Uh, my idea was to like, you know, re-edit all of my Let's Plays into one big video. The ones that have probably been watched like a thousand times, like the Zelda ones and all that stuff. So that what we could do in the end with them... There's more quests here, by the way. So what we could do at the end with them is like... Have them be one big video. So like... And... I could... I wanted to call them like... I really wanted to call them like something like... Videos uh, for... You to fall... Videos for you to fall asleep to or something like that. You know what I mean? Does that make does that make any sense? Like like Romer videos to fall asleep to or something like that. So like it's like a ten hour long videos or something like that, a twenty hour long video. This stuff does not interest me as much as the other stuff, guys. I'll be honest. Okay, let's see what these guys what Flora wants actually. But yeah, something like that. I had the idea to do that. Would you like to buy some flowers? I'm afraid you're coming at a bad time. What's the matter? A lot of flowers in my shop are blown away. We huge fin wind before. Not only were the flowers on display outside blow away, but the silver sub that I had left there in the storefront. I still have a fair bit of stock, but the flowers on display are the prettiest ones. A lot of customers are attracted by them. Now these flowers have been blown away and I still need to clean up the store, so I'll be able to find time to pick the woods. Travel if you will, could you help me pick some fresh flowers? Leave it to me. 
great. Still, you might need to pick quite a few. Let me see first. Uh, pick a sweet flower and one lamp grass for the witch witch. Uh, great wind wise and we're stuck. Finally, baby, sit for natural cave. Uh, please come back as soon as possible. We have the moment you came. Wait, what? I think we have them, right? We have, yeah, we've collected so many flowers. If I could make it a small quest, the wind also blew with the dandelions we had away. All the dandelions being carried away with the wind isn't a bad thing, but it still seems strange for Flores and Monster not to have dandelions. Dandelions can't just be plucked and brought back, they have to be regrown from scratch. So we change your favorite blind device? Yeah, okay, let's go. I'm kind of, then I recall lots of dandelions outside Monstad. Do we have these as well? Okay, let's go get them. Let's go get them. Which one is it? There it is. Collect the pool. Just outside Mondstadt. You okay, Swan? I nearly fell. Yeah, I saw. It was a bit embarrassing. It was a tiny bit embarrassing. Oh, let's do one wish while we're waiting. So, uh, where's this? This is the standard wish. Why not? You know what I mean? Let's use our one wish on this. See what we can get. Oh, we got Lulinda. I knew it. Lulinda. Such a good character. And let's do one wish on this as well. Just don't give me Noel again. I will cry. We're not getting it. We're not getting this. Okay. Let's try one more. Harbinger of Dawn. Let's try one more. And if we don't get it this one, I'll cry. Okay. Boohoo. So there's dandelion seeds around the place. You're not dandelions. You're like sweet flowers, right? Or something. Yeah. Where we 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 the funny thing is is like, like in most RPGs, you know, you know where everything is until you don't. These aren't dandelions, are they? No, they're like uh, thistles. No, thistles are different. Just outside Mondstadt. Looks like she was a liar. A liar of a flower lady, I guess. Oh, they're right there. <laughs> what a liar. So, uh, I fell. Yeah, you fell, Swan. And you went on the entire other side of Mondstadt, uh, across Cider Lake. Yeah, yeah, we're both, been, we're both very silly today. Boy, <laughs> we're both silly today. Yeah, you get it. He gets it. Sorry, Sage, just gonna... Do we, like, burn them or something? Are these not dandelions? Oh, do we blow them away? Oh! Me, my ski, am I right, guys? What's your quest right now, by the way, uh, Swan? Hey, Honorary Knight, wait up a moment. Who would you, who but you would be Monster's famous Honorary Knight? What? That said, you haven't gotten a copy of the Knight's Phonius Handbook yet, have you? It contains a vast majority of the principles that the Knights should follow, as well as some of knowledge for common use. As an Honorary Knight, you should at least be familiar with some of this. I regret requisition a copy from the Knights just for you, just please give it a read. Once you're done, I'll quiz you a little. Uh, this will involve some content recorded in the handbook, as well as some common sense questions. Depending on how you answer, I'll be also giving you a small gift. Question and answer. Okay, let's give back this stuff first. I say we just guess it. What do you think? What do you guys think? Guess? Welcome to Floor Whisper. Do you need anything? I managed to get those dining lines? I have them. Thank you. This should be enough. I'll sow the seeds into the pots. Along with those flowers that you found before earlier. Oh, yes. I have to thank you. Don't you? This little token. Please take it. Now I have to quickly plant, put these flowers inside the pots here. The dining light seeds go there. And we're done. <laughs> Doesn't this look like Papa Flores now? You're... She's like... <laughs> you're like... Stealing this girl's job. Alright, the dandelion seeds have just been sown, so there's nothing in the pot. Uh, I guess I'll have to take them off display for the time being. And I really hope they grow soon. Price. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. Alright, let's begin. Now, please listen to my questions. To the northwest of Monster are some ruins. Legend holds that it was that it was once a city where a tyrant ruled over this tower. 
It has since been occupied by Dvalin, who shelters himself there. What question is, what is the official name now given to these runes by the Knights of Vivonius? That is the Storm Terror's Lair. Correct. The runes are indeed called Storm Terror's Lair. Next question, listen carefully. According to the Knightly Etiquette, what is the proper form to address to use when speaking to an unknown individual encountered within Monsen's borders? That is sneaky little bastards. Correct. Okay. Uh, or indeed, travelers is the correct way to address that uh, that we meet uh, here who hail from lands beyond. For now, for my last question, as I'm sure you're completely aware, the affairs of the Knights of Phonies within the city walls are currently under uh, management of Miss Jean. My question is then, what is Miss Jean's official title? She is the acting Grand Master. Precisely. Jean's role is that of the acting Grand Master. All right. That was all for me. Let me see. Wow. The knights are so strict. You got them all correct. As expected, the honorary knight. Such questions are no problems for you at all. To be honest, there are some locals who can't answer these questions. Please take this as a gift. Nice. Hey. Okay. So now that we've done all that, we're going to keep going down the Liu path through the Du Marsh. Marsha, my wife. Okay. Uh, let us wish again on this, though. We have one more. We have, we have a bunch of wishes we can do with this. Okay, it's gonna be a character. It's Baluna. No, it's not. Apparently, okay. I thought it was gonna be Baluna. It's Marcy. Here comes Marcy. It's Marcy. Look, it's Marcy. Watch. Who is actually? Wait, I thought pink means. Oh, pink means four star. I thought pink meant weapon. That's a really cool weapon, though. The flute. It's Jenna. It's Jenna. What's it's Jenna? Okay. Needed it in in fairness. Watch this. It's Marcel. Watch it's Marcel. It's Marcel. Okay, Marcel. If you want to show yourself at some point. Gift shop. So this is what someone bought. This is actually very expensive. And like, I'm just saying, wait, status exchange? Oh, here we go. We can buy none yet. Wait. I'm confused, because they did say I got something else as well. So I would definitely like... Badoo, oh cool. I would definitely like to see what else it is, because again, I'm so confused in this stuff sometimes, guys. So th let's see how many... Gen Genesis Christmas costs a lot. But then again, like, if you paid 16 euro, you could definitely... Wait, could you buy something? If you paid 16 euro... No, you would not even get a full character. Crazy. Okay, let's head along the bridge here. And there's a character here that wants to give us a quest. I can't cope. What's wrong? Who goes there? All the wish to cross the bridge is subject to interrogation. Those are the rules. That said, just look at what you're wearing. You're definitely not someone I need to worry about. Why? Think about it. Criminals wouldn't want to dress as discreetly as possible. You, on the other hand, dress the most ostentatiously indeed. What are you doing here? I am Milith, the responsible for this zone. This is a major thor uh, thoroughfare to DU Marsh. DU Marsh. Merchants and tourists all pass uh, this way, so I'm stationed here to stand guard. But this zone is too big for one person. Just the other day, I discovered a group of monsters nearby. It appears to set up camp, and although they haven't made a move yet, it's definitely a safety risk. I need to keep an eye on them. I'd happily go and clear them out, except I worry that if left post here, some other monsters would seize a chance and to ambush passers-by. I feel so helpless. Stuck here all, all day. Can you go and start the monsters for me? It would free up me up to concentrate on other matters. Okay. You have my thanks. I'll stay here and keep watch to stop anyone from taking the wrong turn and end up on the Marsh. Yeah, let's do it. So whereabouts is that? It's just over here. Oh, yeah, it's nothing. We can do that. I 
I guess it's it, it, people in the U also can't do stuff for themselves. Man, I love that little, little short passage there that you can pass through like that. Kakingo. We learn more and more about these hilly churros, and like I think Ella might be right. Ella Musk might be right. Um, because it, it, it seems to me that they're not like totally like just like brutal like you know primitive creatures. It seems like in a way that they're actually like. You know, just a different culture that is incredibly terrified. Probably like like most like creatures are who don't speak, you know, the same language just like most monsters. No, I keep calling them monsters, but I almost feel bad about calling them monsters out. Watch this. What happened here? Bit wild. Bit wild, don't you think, guys? Okay, you need to get down, buddy. Okay, two seconds, guys, right? Two seconds. I know you want to play with me. Two seconds. We're just gonna, we're trying to get the shaman down. Two seconds, okay? There you go. There you go. Now we'll crystallize all of ya. A little bit of crystallize never hurt nobody. It makes total sense why, like, that those, um... Why they're, like, always, like, in a different uh, position, I suppose? Music's fantastic here for like a little battle. Let's get rid of these guys as well. Um, it makes sense why the shamans then are always like so far away. They are like kind of like the leaders of the group, the leaders of the pack. Really cool. Bennett, let's go. Bob. Nice. I love that, like, everyone has a different word. Like, like Razor's like, yo, we could use this for storage. This could be a storage area. And then she's like, hey, what if we, like, fall asleep in here? What if we just, like, fall asleep and forget about our troubles? What if we fall asleep? And never talk about this world again? Oh, Donny. Oh, Donny, Donny, Donny. Okay, so... Teamwork is dreamwork. A little melting action going on. Nice. That was such a cool way to combat that. That was such a nice way to combat that. Smell of treasure. Strange. Okay. Take you. This is this is nice. This is nice. Again, like the missions in this game are like very very simple. They're very easy, and like sometimes they're sometimes they're more than so, like obviously the story quests and the quests are different. But like the little tiny missions you get, it's like hey go set up these beacons, go kill twenty creatures. You know, it's just like to me a really easy way of just giving you some combat experience. How's it coming along? I've dealt with the monsters. Thank you. It's a huge help. But you were a different guy before. I'm sorry I had to ask you. It should have been in my job, but. You end up doing it all for me. Don't worry, I'm used to it. There's no point you trying to play it down. You're covered in uh, you're covered in dust, which I'm sure from a tooth and nail battle with monsters. I don't know what the higher ups are thinking. They really should have sent some more people by now. This zone is far too big for only one person. It just may uh, it just maybe just a couple of bridges, but so much human traffic comes through every day. If anything were to happen here, it would be catastrophic. The higher ups will be getting a full report of the situation as soon as I have the opportunity. You have my thanks. Please take these for your trouble. What did I get? Oh, cool. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to activate that quest again, which is the... Yeah, talk to Catherine. I think it's the first thing we should do. We're off on the road to Catherine. Oh, we get to go over here. Sick. I'll take you. Loach pearls. You just get a pearl within them. Okay. See, this is the time that if we had an archer, it'd be so different, right? we just use this right away. Get rid of you right away, though. 
Oh, we did. We did get rid of them right away. This usually gets rid of the shield a lot easier, but I could be wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Oh, that, that definitely gets damaging the shield very quickly, doesn't it? But then again, probably like heavy weapons are going to damage shields like this anyway. I was like, why isn't his move working? Nice, nice, Sayu. Nice. Okay, let's go up top. Let's talk to you guys. No, not Sayu. Hey, but Sayu, I promise I'll be a good boy. Oh my god, because of the, look at this. And away I go. And away she goes. Meet my ski. Meet my ski. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, honey. Sayu came to the camp today. <laughs> Meet Chidi, my daughter. Make myself, made myself sad there. <laughs> but seeing this stuff means the world. Really now we've been playing this game uh, since this is what, like part 15 or something? We've been playing this game now for 30 hours. Uh, 33 hours if you count like the little bits of extra time we took on some of the... Uh, episodes and I, I find that so cool you know what I mean like to me that like a, this has been a 30 hour playthrough that's felt like nothing you know that's felt like it's 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 gone by in a flat oh we need to do we need to do the thing all in a row crystallize to do this so I guess we have to find some enemies before we can do that uh, please boar I need your help any enemies nearby? I saw an enemy prowling, so there's probably one over here. Usually, usually they're ev oh there you are. Hello. Thank you. So what is he doing? He's using us as test dummies. But of course. <laughs> There we go. And just like that. <laughs> awesome. To dust. Yeah, that's the way to do it. I'll keep this close. You do that. A little house here though, yeah, it's interesting. And probably a shop. Oh, it's a sh it is a shop over here. Oh, look at the signs. Is that a a ferret with a freaking What's that over there? That's like a whole yeah. different thing. We're gonna stay on the path for now and then go and explore afterwards. Hello, merchant. Hello! You look like a traveler to me. Need to stock up any essentials? We got everything you can possibly think of in here and more. Uh, do you sell artifacts? Do you sell legendary weapons? I everything except that. <laughs> Many travelers carry a run of the mill sword or dagger than them, but not legendary weapon. Are you sure you're just a regular traveler? So much for everything I could possibly think of. But yeah, I said essentials. If you class those as essential, I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> anyway, I sell those things that most people, def by definition, follow their travel essentials. You peep my curiosity, though. What exactly do does your journey entail? I just thought your branding is a sham. I don't want to say this to him. This, I can't lose my brand just because of you. Wait, do you need food? It doesn't matter who you are. Surely I have some needs. Here, take this Matsuki meat rose. See, I do have something you need here with me. This was the food I brought with me. The only one of it, and it's free, so please just leave me alone. <laughs> All your I'm sorry. Like, I, I think it's so funny that we, like, badgered this guy into, um... You can drop down. It's okay. You can drop down. You can drop down. Um, into giving us free items. That's very us. Hilly Shirl Nest. You okay, you? Get down on my table! Uh, welcome. My dad's not here right now. If you want to put your feet up a bit, go right ahead. What are you doing? 
I'm all watching tea stand for my dad because he's sick. I wanted to play the men game game today, but I'm a grown up now, so I have to help my dad out with the business. It really blows. Grown ups have so many responsibilities. Well, boys, it's us again. We could do that as well. Forgot about that. Look what your shaman did. Your shaman just put you on a pedestal to fall. That's the only thing your shaman did. Masana Bunu Mandata. Oh my god, look at this. Look at that. I can't believe we're getting to go over that little tree thing over here. Look at like the tree house thing. Get out of here. Yeah, Razor, Razor Bennett, Cannon, best team. Like, and we know it. You know what I mean? You guys know it too. Cannon, best team in the biz. So we get this chest as well. Okay. Empty I mean, some of the enemies will be lower level than us. You know what I mean? That's how much do we need to get one more wish, by the way? We have. Uh, we need to get like ninety. Which we can get. We'll literally get tomorrow if I log in. So by the time the next episode rolls around, when we record next, uh, like Wednesday. Um. Oh, hello. Sorry. Oh, that quickened him. Now he's burning. Um, by the time we record next Wednesday, we'll have like a bunch more. And we can just like wish right away. And like, you know. Look at the duck. Mind my, it's not my business. <laughs> Whatever you guys are doing, you'll keep doing by yourself because it's none of my business. You know what? Respectable. Man, this is one of the coolest looking places in the whole entire game for sure. Look at this. Wang Shu In. Wan Fan. Uh, Yingling. She just threw one, you one look. No need to get this excited. Excited? See you! <laughs> I'm talking to my buddy over there, blabbering on, and even though he didn't, he met her gaze briefly. I'm her childhood friend, so that is like, shouldn't I be over the moon every single day? Talk about exaggerating. You're her childhood friend? Yep. We exactly, we actually grew up together. I even thought her fi uh, fishing songs. Still, when I found out what she was, uh, the Beidou uh, people, what was the Beidou people called the Lord of the Ocean, even I was shocked. Now, I haven't seen her in a good long time, but I probably heard enough tales about her to make my ears bleed. Can you believe it? I caught Captain Beidou's eyes! Captain Beidou? That's right, it happened just as I was starting to think that I should leave the fleet due to dismay at lack of our results. It was that moment that the Alcor passed us by and I saw Captain Bidu standing at the helm. And at that moment our eyes met. It happened just to be on her left and that courage of hers had, that uh, subdued the seas themselves pierced my heart at one glance. Isn't that the side with the eye patch? Yes, of course, but uh, details. Uh, she truly is great. With but a single look she was able to save my spent soul of a sorrowful sailor. You know what? We're learning about Captain Bidu. And honestly, that's the right way to learn about characters. Just telling you right now, there's like little bits and pieces every once in a while, you know? We know that she's well respected. We know that she's uh, loved by her friends. She's probably beautiful. Or he. Maybe they said she. Where are we going? If you go over the fence, I will uninstall this game. I love this place, but I'm following this Mr. Ghosty Goo. If you don't go over the fence. Oh, it's here, thank God. Guys, this he just saved the playthrough. I think I soured on these guys so quickly the last time we did this, and like he took us like all in around in a circle. <laughs> and I was like, no. This is a really cool area. Look at this. And there's like multiple quests around here as well. Traveling merchant. Let's do let's do these quests. For, oh, Madame Keen, how are you? Traveling with a baggage really is the most relaxing. Yeah, so you need to work hard while you have your youth so you can live out your dreams when you're older. Your dreams? 
Of course, when I was young, I dreamed of traveling the world, but then I wanted to bring everything with me, and it was too much trouble. Back then, I still fantasized about attaining the animation. Well, but thought of using a power. Well, anyway, to pull my house along is quite romantic even now. But though I didn't manage to obtain a vision, I eventually woke up to the fact that the best sort of journey is the kind where you bring nothing other than money. So my tiles I've worked with savings was for this trip. Whatever I lack, I buy directly. That's cool. Life lessons. That should just about do it. What hard work. What's up with those stairs over there? Stairs? Oh, you want to go up to the inn? You come at a bad time. There's two big holes on the way up to prevent people from missing their step. The boss of the whole stairway closed. The preparations and repairs have been made, but the stairs won't be fit uh, for walking for a while. Don't worry, you can't use the stairs, but the elevator just over there is just fine. It can move cargo, so carrying people isn't a problem. If you're in a rush, how about using that instead? Oh yeah, and while you're at it, help me give this to the boss. It's a gift from a guest. Got it. Well, off you go. Remember to watch your footing. This inn is pretty high up. Falling off halfway is no joke. So, what's really cool about this is that... We can't go up these stairs because there's a hole in them. They're closed, apparently. Is that what they were saying? Or is it? The, or maybe this isn't even the stairs at all. Let's see. Um, but one of the cool... Yeah, there is definitely a hole in them. But we can just still pass by. One of the coolest things about this, though, to me, is that it's just a small thing to add something to the world. You know, hey, we're trying to repair this bridge here. You can take the elevator, though. It still works. It doesn't impede you. It just makes, like, it makes the world feel a bit real. You know? You know, hey, you know... We're not gonna force you to take this route, but you know, just so you know that people who don't usually climb and jump and fly better than I imagined. It's my lucky day. Can't take that route that you're gonna take. Very cool. Very cool stuff. Yeah, and it's it's definitely destroyed. <laughs> like it's proper destroyed. And there's more quests up here too, Jesus Christ. Oh, well, we should have navigated that quest, to be honest. Hi, Tia. Hello, you must be from somewhere very far away. What's your name? Bye-bye. <laughs> my name is Tia. Linda's my, Linda's my father. Tell me about your father. Is that your father right there? My father's a deadbeat. Uh, he says I should tell strangers that he's a traveling merchant. If you're friends with Tia, then I can tell you the truth. Um, Has your traveling been fun? Yep, this is my first time on a monster. Everything here is so cool. When I was small, I could read only Vera, Vera's Melancholy. I would imagine was I was vice versa, experienced all kinds of amazing adventures. I know, I'll give you a copy of Vera's Melancholy. I might have flipped through a bit too much, but I don't need any more because I'm on a real adventure with Daddy. My experiences will be even more interesting than the novel. So you're Landa, the traveling merchant. This is really bad. What happened to you? Oh, you're a traveler. Well, you see, I'm a merchant and I often shuttle between Monster and leave on business. I had just closed a big deal in Monster and I was getting ready to deliver the invoices back to my boat. But I never managed to be attacked by monsters while passing through this area. I couldn't fight them off, so I only could flee from my life. I ended up stumbling away into this inn. But I've run off and left all my invoice behind. Could I ask you to get back for me? Uh, I've got this, yeah. Well, that's wonderful. I remember the places I passed by as a random or less. Here, let me mark them for you. I placed all the invoices inside a box. It shouldn't be too hard for to find. So please, help me out. No problem. Uh, but first, we should probably give away this stuff. We should probably activate... Oh my god, look at this... This is beautiful. I steal your books. Oh my god, and down here as well. They, it's a stealing place. You get to steal stuff. Mm hmm. I steal when I sit down as well. The chef's like, okay, we can't. 86 everything. <laughs> Wander came through. 86 everything. And you can cook in an actual cooker? What do you think you're doing? You can't just waltz in the kitchen wherever you feel like it. Who are you? I was stealing. I'm Yang Xiao, a shoe chef. Unless you have something seriously urgent to tell me, you better get out of my kitchen. Just a sous chef? Just a sous chef? What's the big deal? Didn't you see me chopping meat to make it soup? You're not the first person to show surprise me working as a chef, though. So my story goes like this. I actually used to be a thief until I stole from the... I'm a thief. We both steal. Stole from the boss. I took a beating for it, and I was locked up for a while. After I got out, the boss took me, in to help, uh, took me on to help out in the kitchen. I find him much happier as a sous chef than I was a thief. I feel like this is the real me. I mean, probably yeah. Like you, you look like you're happy, but uh, like it's it's um it's actually again like little cool details about that like about characters. I love it, and like I mean it. Like that's like that's the stuff that like I live for when it comes to like when people talk about characters in this game. Um, 
Because I've talked about it a million times, like how how someone eats their eggs in the morning is so much like more important than like their tragic backstory that like needs to be told a million times. You know what I mean? Um, man, this is so pretty. Because so often when people are creating a tragic backstory, what tends to happen is ride the elevator. Wait, did we give give him the invoices? Hold on a second. Oh, this is... Wait. Oh, wait a second. So, do we have to ride the elevator as, like, an actual thing? Like, that's a quest? That's hilarious. Okay. No, I'm fine. Thank you, though. Ask again and you will be punished. <laughs> oh, so he was just here all along. Okay. Or maybe he wasn't until you ride the elevator. We've got to repair those stairs quickly. You're the innkeeper? I am. What can I do for you? Some guy downstairs asked to give us a package to you. I was supposed to see a package that a guest sent to me. Why did Sheng Yang bring it to him, uh, bring it up himself? Still has g uh, goods to pick up, did he? I bet it was just too lazy to go down the elevator. I'm really sorry. You're a guest of ours, and the stairs had to be broken this time. I'm finding a way to fix those, I speak. And to think that we made you take the trouble to bring this package up for me. Here, take this as a token of my appreciation. This was originally for Shen Cheng, but since he made you made the delivery package for him, then the pay is yours, by right. Well then, I must be going to get the preparations ready for repairs going. Feel free to have a look around the inn. If there's anything you need, you can look for me at any time. Thank you so much. So we have that. There's also like another quest over here somehow. Maybe in the actual inn itself? No, maybe. Oh. I stole your carrot, chef. That's my boy. Always stealing carrots. Do you think I'll ever get as good as you at stealing carrots? <laughs> My boy, you're already good at stealing carrots. You just need to learn the proper way to eat. Wait, hold on a second. Where is this quest? Oh, it's right here. I'm coming. No, no, it's probably gonna. I'm probably gonna die. Oh. What did y'all think of this? <laughs> in, in your eyes. Spare me the pleasantries. What is it you want? I'm in love with you. I'm a guard for hire. I escort goods safely for ADB. Not to boast, but all my time doing it. I never. I have so much more. I could like just hire you as a friend. About guards. Yeah, let's, come on. Let's join, join up. You need to know that it's a specific, uh, it's a term specific to Liu that refers to mercenaries who are specialized in protecting cargo. I'm cargo. Well, the people of Liu um, uh, mercantilism and traveling merchants must go far abroad. Our job is to protect them from bandits who would rob them for goods. Their goods. I've accumulated a lot of experience from my years working in the field for, and I don't mind sharing. Oh, the cutscene for request? This parameter, and this one. Mr. Garcia. No, no, almost, almost. Wait, wait, no. Oh, fascinating. How fascinating. Mr. Garcia. Ah, Lutong. My good Lutong. Have you helped me order that dish? Yes, the radish veggie soup has been ordered, sir. Wonderful. How considerate of you, dear Lutong. I'm sure that we'll have, a pr uh, we'll have our processing formula this time. Look how pretty it's gotten so quickly. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, sir. I, what did they talk about? And what's the processing formula anyway? Let's go ask them. That's true. Maybe they're researching some kind of new dish, you know? One that we can try. Ask you about your little dish. Sir, I believe it might be worth mentioning that if we take these days into account, we have eaten radish veggie soup for a full six days. That sounds horrible. Our diaphragmal straits notwithstanding, I believe our, our gastrointestinal circumstances are not, be not to be ignored. 
And right you are, my dear Lu Tong, sharp as ever if I do say so myself. It may be due to these gastrointestinal issues that we have been unable to ascertain the flavor of the dish. We require a witness, Lu Tong. We might find ourselves a third party. It's us. Excuse me, what are you two doing? If you're wondering about the radish veggie soup formula. We have it, don't we? And here comes our witnesses now. There's more than one to be sure. Wonderful. Uh, witnesses? You mean us? Indeed. Pray tell, have you ever had the radi radish veggie soup? Are you familiar with its flavor and how it's made? So I believe that we must at least apprise them of the whys and wherefores of this situation. Of course, we know it well. Wanda knows how to make it too. Pine, we should really hear what this, this is all about first. Yes, well, allow me to explain. At this commission, I hope you all uh, you shall be amenable to it. I'm Lu Tong, and this is Garcia, my boss, who hails from Fontaine. Mr. Garcia is currently developing, um, I believe he calls it a Nuremberg machine. More specifically, it's a tool that will allow people to perform various calculations. Is that about right, sir? As precise as precise can be, my dear Lu Tong, the number of machines' functions are just so concise answer, in, uh, a concise answer indeed. Yes, concise, uh, conciseness. We must be concise. That transform is far too complex. Wait, uh, but what is that? Does have to do with radish veggie soup? I think the question would be best answered by you, Mr. Garcia. But how would we simplify it? Oh, right, yes, allow me to explain. Let us begin with the most elementary matters. Are you familiar with the formulae? Not exactly. I'm not familiar with that, what you mean either. All right, that's it, all right. Uh, you may consider formulae to be uh, an equation that is used to express the relation between various quantities and which possess a certain general applicability. Sounds impressive. Simply put, we intend to use the Nuremberg machine to attempt to write a recipe formula for radish veggie soup. Mr. Garcia believes as, lo as long as we obtain the right formula, we can convert the method of making radish veggie soup into a sort of general procedure. And any proof? Oh, it's lighting up. We talked so late. I need a procedure, if you will. As long as the procedure is followed, anyone can produce delicious radish veggie soup. That sounds pretty good, but you couldn't just have just uh, someone to teach you how to make the dish directly? Unfortunately, such a method is too greatly predict uh, predicated upon natural talent. For people like Mr. Garcia and I, who lack any culinary predisposition at all, it's unlikely they will be able to grasp the essence of any lessons that any chef, no matter how patient, might teach us. In fact, I believe that Mr. Yang Shou uh, of this very inn was experienced, uh, experienced this firsthand. So you need to teach us how to cook? Mm, I wouldn't say that either. Precisely, we'd like you to serve as a neutral third party. Simply put, we need you to try the radish and veggie soup that Mr. Garcia makes according to the formulae and give comments. So we're here to taste, uh, be taste testers? Yeah, let's go, let's go. I'll be fine. Anyway, Pineman's never eaten radish veggie soup made according to some formulae before. Just give it a go. It's settled, then in which case, let us adjourn to the kitchen. Mr. Shang has kindly allowed us to use it. Mr. Garcia, sir, we shall proceed with the same steps as his experiment, experiment as before. Oh, right. Sorry, I was just a little distracted. Too many unruly parameters floating about in my head, you know. But yes, let us go with our previous three steps uh, process. So we have to go up to the kitchen now again. Nice. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of dialogue in this game. I think you guys know, I've said that before too. Like, There's a lot of dialogue in this game. That was so simplified. Well done, game. That was so simplified. Like that's how you do it. Like any game, any any, any game devs that, that are watching, make things uh, like simple. Unless you're Shenmue, then make things more difficult because that actually adds to the game, in my opinion. Look at this in the kitchen together. Let us begin, Lu Tong, with 10% less of each ingredient this time. All right, then. Step one, begin cooking. Yes, sir. First, the water. Ah, careful. There, There is with the speed. I wish the water is poured. It is most important. Next, we add the ingredients. First thing, go the radishes. Ah, you know, this is more like an alchemy experience. We cook. That's it. Like, a lot of cooking, like, if you treat it as an experiment, it's not going to be very good. But, like, the best dishes I've ever made... Were ones where like I'm having a ball making it. And I'm like, oh my god, look at the colors and look at all the vibrancy. Like it feels so good to make this. And then like, even though you eat it for like what, like ten minutes, it's like super, super fun. Well, dishes made this way really turn out right. All right, and it's done. Radish veggie soup. It's probably gonna taste sterile. Our process went quite smoothly, sir. Indeed, let us give it a try, traveler. You're welcome to have seconds if you too so wish. Ooh, let's dig in. Thanks. This tastes like. 
I expect that the radishes must be cooked for a while longer. How did the mince turn out? I'm sure that I calculated it, uh, its optimal cooking time. I think I'll wait for a while. <coughs> the flavor of the soup is actually worse than the one we made on the previous attempt. <laughs> I fully concur with your position, sir. Oh, all right, step two, feedback. I say the formulas are missing one parameter or another. Our calculations are still imprecise. I must adjust these machines' algorithm. You're talking have recorded all the data from this cooking session? They've all been recorded, sir. Excellent. We are the step closer to success. Then in that case, one, two, st one to step three, requesting the chef demonstrate the cooking process once more. You know that Shang Sh Yang Shou is right over there. No, I'm, th I'm good, thank you. Uh, I think letting us use the kitchen it was as, as far as uh, you give around. I feel that uh, the only one we can count on to help us make the radish veggie soup traveler. Let's do it then. Let's do it. Let's freaking cook. Oh, we have some. Bro, I have like the best one. Watch this. Are you ready? A perfect one. This is what you do. Oh, we cooked. Not what I wanted to do. Garcia, take this. You must be skilled indeed. Take, I have 13 of these. Take two, actually, maybe even. The flavor is mighty indeed, but I must say the taste is entirely different from the radish veggie soup that Mr. Yang Shou makes. Part of my curiosity, how did you make this dish? What are the exact amount of ingredients? Um... Hey, personal space? Oh, I guess it's like in, in canon, he's in airspace. I guess my apologies. Still, I'd like to know how you made the dish. In detail, please. You never know how inspirational uh, inspiration might come. Yeah, because I think like, again, we're making the dish from like, just like, hey, we want to make good food, you know? There are truly too many variables involved in deciding the flavor of a single dish. Much computation is needed to refine our calculations. But I will need to improve my Nuremberg machine to allow more comp. Just do it by hand, man. Just do it. By just do it. I can hope that I can find some inspiration in the academia's uh, ac academia's library. When I first was learning to cook, I was terrible at it. And, like, I did follow ingredients and stuff like that because it is kind of like sometimes it is like science. It is like a science experiment. Add this much, add this much. And, like, what I... what, But the, I always cooked in a very weird way where, like, I learned by, like, mistakes. So, like, oh, I added too much mustard to that today. I'll try again next time and add less mustard. It's like, oh, it tastes better this time. Like, the first time I made, like any dish, I was like, oh, that wasn't very good. But then the second time I make it, I'm like, oh, now I know that I shouldn't have added this much to it. I added too much coconut yogurt to this. Uh, you know, and you learn that way. I gotta hope that I find some inspiration in that. Yeah. Why did you want to create such a machine anyway? Good question. But before I answer the question, but permit me to ask you one first. Do you think that Nuremberg machine possesses thought? Does your machine possess thought? Dude, I don't know. Exactly. Please think on this question first, if you would. We can discuss the question when we need next time. As for now, I must organize some data. Come, Lutang, we begin. Yes, sir. And yes, take uh, take these good travel. Please do not upset with Mr. Garcia. This is just how he is. Are you two going to Simudu? Indeed. Mr. Garcia wishes to read up on some resources at the, uh, at the academia. Ac academia. Uh, academia. And I have been hired to go with him. See you, traveler. It would be wonderful if we could uh, have the fortune to meet again in Simudu. I believe Mr. Garcia will be most glad as well. Cool. We uh, completed a little quest. So I think the other quest we're going to do really quickly now as well, which is the big business one. Um, we'll, we'll do, a, we'll do a, a, a rounding circle, I suppose. Uh, where's the, where is the closest one? It's this way is what we're looking for. This Oh, it's up top as well, though. I am the knight. I just realized we have earrings. That's freaking awesome. Took me this long. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know, like, this has been a really, really good time. And, like, I, I think, like, the ones, the episodes that fly by the most for me are actually the ones where, like, it's like, oh, like, we, like, we're just doing a lot of side quests and we're spending a bunch of time just going through this world. And, like, I totally understand as well, like, you know, like, like, some people, like, really want this playthrough to go for, or to, to the pacing to pick up. And some people want the pacing to continue the way, and I think the majority of people want the pacing to continue the way it is. Um, I'm not pacing this in any way intentionally. I'm just doing whatever fun at the time. You know what I mean? We're, we're gonna fall. Yeah. 
Um, like, there's no... There's no thing in my mind that's like, okay, I gotta... I gotta extend the pacing out a bit of this, or, or change the pacing of this, or else we're not gonna have him as much. Oh, man. He yeah, sure is. I don't want to fight you right now, okay? You do? You want to fight us? No, no, like, I, I really don't. You want to fight us? Who wants to fight us? I, guys, I legit said, like, I don't want to fight you. I feel like it, it, it'd be a detriment to both of us. We don't need to do this. It'll waste my time, and you guys will die. Ah, yeah, have some fun with your life. Spoil spoil! Spoil spoil! Everyone, come spoil spoil! Spoil spoil! Why no one joining? Spoil spoil! Meet my ski! Meet my ski! Excuse me, have you seen a box? A box? Well, I did pick up one. I already had a look inside and there's a batch of invoices. It seems like someone was doing a real business big uh, venture. Oh my, I wonder how much the owner of this box will pay to have it back. I'll pay you. Give me, I'll pay you money. It's fine. He don't look so nervous. I was pulling your leg. A value of the goods on these invoices is not low by any means, but it makes me wonder which big shot of Liu it was uh, who signed off on it. I've got a sense of time and place. I'm not about to kick these hor hornet nests just because I can. Still, don't you think it's a bit unreasonable for you to just take these and leave after all the time and effort I spent? Gar I'll give you something. Let's barter. Yes, I'll give you something. Fetch me treat. I will pay you like 30000 you fetch me three nocturnal jades and I'll give you the invoice. How does that sound? All right. We'll hop onto it then. When you're back, we'll trade from one for one. Do I have any of these? Yeah, I did. I got them. I have two. I have two. I have two. I have two. Oh, lordy. Ow. Come here, come here. I have two only. I'm actually depressed, man. <laughs> I just want some nocturnal jades. Do we have a key? We do have one. This is the first time we've done this. Ooh, what's in here? Maybe a cloak serum? It's probably something. Do we have enough for a wish now? Oh my god, just barely. Just barely. Just barely. Oh, I've always wanted one of these. Meet my ski. Meet my ski. Where did you think I'm gonna find all this, these items? Like, huh? Do you think I'm freaking like, uh... Some sort of genius? Do you think, you think I can just find stuff? Think I'm, think I'm smart enough to find things? You think I think I think I know where stuff is? Think I think I just know? Think I'm aware? Think I'm smart like that? Think I'm smart like that? You know what? We've done so many side quests. I don't have the energy to find some rocks uh, for the last few minutes. We're gonna keep. I'm gonna go back up to the area we're in before, um, and we're gonna keep going with this as much as we can. Because we still, if you think we've still only gotten to the, this inn, which is insane, it's absolutely insane, and we have to make it over there. Absolutely insane. Oh! This is death, right? Oh no, it's not. It's wet. Freaking beautiful. We should take a picture with this as well. Hold on. What's the best vantage point over here? Maybe beside um, Billy Barty over here? Yeah, that's good. Look at that. Where's the photo? Uh, mode. And look at this. Benny's adventure team assemble. You know what? Thumbnail. <laughs> we got it, guys. Where is that other item I want? I wonder if you can just buy it off a trader as well, though. Um, I want to, like, maybe just explore this place just a tiny bit more before we head on, just so I'm not missing anything. Um, this is a really beautiful area. Like, obviously not in these directions and stuff like that, but I want to, like, maybe explore those runes over there. And then keep going on the, the path, then, to where we're going. What is this? 
just like a little um tiny passageway thing or like a puzzle thing maybe later if we can figure it out i love even like the low water passing over this just to keep your feet dry so cool the music here is fantastic A little bit of an overcharge. Get back. <laughs> we love a good shaman. One more, it's the guy up here. Which, like, again, we've survived without a bow and arrow guy. Did I actually knock him down? I did. Oh my god, and he was holding his back. <laughs> like an old man. <laughs> Is this an answer from this world? <laughs> that was funny. That was really good. Okay. These rooms over here is what I wanted to check out. Um Let's see. Let's eat some food. Oh, we can just walk across for the most part. I say it's probably gonna get. Is it gonna. Oh, it's not even getting deeper. And <gasps> look at that over there. Hold on a second. I, I think it's one of those times that, like, actually using the photo mode to take a good look is actually really important. Uh, look at that. Like, the big mountain top with the two crevices in, or the two passageways there. I cannot wait to explore more of this place, guys. It's gonna be so awesome. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that right there. Get rid of this guy as soon as possible. Yeah, I I, I think the switching of the swords was such a good idea. Quick! Look at oh that's I love the Geo. I remember I remember I legit did not like the Geo, and now it's like so awesome. The way it can bounce him back into a range. Like that's something that like I appreciate so much. Is this an answer from this world? I just wanted to pass through here even. Look at this. I'm just digging. Oh, God. just living my life, please. My life is, is ending your life. Oh, they're dancing again. Follow Tony, follow Tony. Oh. Quickly! She's making she's making her ski. She's made her ski. Sick. So sick. That's so empowering, right? It feels so good. These things useful? Recipe more meat, cool. They're always dancing. You know what I mean? That's why, like, I always feel kind of bad sometimes when we're, like, just destroying these guys. Because they are, like, creatures of, like, clear culture. You know what I mean? That is, like, clearly, like, means something to them. You know what I mean? If there's a clear thing here that means something to those creatures. And, like, it is a lack of understanding. It probably is, like, you know, they deserve to live on this land as well. You know what I mean? It's not, like... Unless they are tainted by the Abyss Order, and that's a different story, isn't it? Because they were working for the Abyss Order, so it's not like they're totally good. But then again, I wonder if the Abyss Order, because they have beasts with them as well, are they able to, like, manipulate you as well, you know? I'm sorry, I was just listening to what he was saying there for a second. Yeah. 
Remember we had so much trouble on these guys too? And now like they're like just like super fun enemies to fight. Oh, we need a new adventure rank. City reputation unlocked. Locate okay, thank you. Is this an answer from this world? There's a whole new quest. Yep. I'm sorry guys, but like I know we're going through Liu. Actually I want to pass through here first, one second. That's all I wanted to do. Okay. Um, I know we're going through Liu, but like, if there's a quest back here and stuff, then I want to see what it is. Um, I'm not gonna, you know. Oh, sorry, did I push you? Oh, oh sorry, guys, sorry. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna get, not do the quest. Um, oh yeah, we got our adventure rank up, so it gets our adventure rank up. Which is crazy. What's next? Whoa. Wait. We need to do a quest? Holy shit, yeah. So this is what's going to get us like to... Hold on a second, so it's... The adventure skills is posted in emergency relic commission. The performance of the adventure takes up a chance will affect the ranking of the guild. Take yourself. <gasps> yeah. Which one is it? Which one is it? This one. Ascend. Clear the runes. Let's go. Let's go. That's so such a good idea. Oh, and it's like a- it's a full rune? Sick. Level 35 too. Let's light it up. We need to just be using our abilities all the way through this. Like, no questions asked, you know what I mean? There's no... Um... You know, there's no room for, like, having a bit of, like, jolly little fun with our little moves, you know what I mean? We need to, like, very quickly... Just like start destroying stuff. Even, even if like we know we can take, because like I know we can take these guys. We're just gonna. This is a perfect chance to just like, hey, this is for an ascension. Let's make sure we're, we know all our abilities. We know our little rock paper scissors system. I know it's not a rock paper scissors system. It's more like rock paper scissors lava gun. Shoot. Oh God. Look at this. <laughs> I saw I saw it there and I was like, you know what? I still want it. Get a little overload there into that. Um There's enemies all around here. Best way, best way to dispatch of those guys, just that, just to do that. Do we have to defeat those enemies though to unlock us though? Because that would be very. No, these enemies over here for sure. If we have to go back and defeat the enemy, I will. Like it's not a big deal. Off we go. Everybody, stand back. Let's light it up. Nice. Try our best. Okay, so what? Okay, okay, so it, 120 seconds. Adventure time. And it's 15 enemies. We can do this. Didn't see that coming. No, okay. If the shaman dies, right? M hot take. If a sh if if a creature dies, his his influence on the map should not be still there. 
That's just my opinion. You know what I mean? Like... Like, why on earth is this guy still hanging around here and his influence is still on the map? His freaking, like, his little abilities are still there even after he's dead. Well, I guess that does make sense, actually, because, like, if he, if he shoots it out of him, it's not going to, like, just disappear, like, right away. That does make sense, actually, you know what? You know what? Hold on a second. And then... Overload fusion style. You need to stop. The guy who's shooting me over there, like, you need to stop. You need to go home and actually, like, talk to your wife. Tell her how much of an idiot you've been, you know? Was that it? Oh, that was it? That was it? So now we have we are allowed to ascend. It doesn't ascend us to level 26. It, it, it allows us to build up our rank. Our max rank was level uh, 25. <laughs> and now we have the ability to go higher than 25. I want to see what if, if that's the case. So now we can go... Yeah, we claimed it, right? Yeah, we claimed it, so we can... We already claimed it, okay. So that means we should have those things then, right? Yeah, we do. Awesome. And we got a four-star bow, though, that looks actually really cool. Looks really cool. Okay, that was that was cool. Like, I like that. That was cool. We have a world rank increase. We have a new adventure rank increase. Um, we got more achievements. Okay, so we have like a lot of stuff out of there today. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I know this episode is very, very like side content heavy, but this is the way things sometimes things will go. We got to explore a little bit. We got to like have a bit of fun. I had a lot of fun in this episode, a lot of fun in this video. And we're going to keep going in the next one, uh, going towards uh, Liu. And actually do like a small quest here, do our commissions and go straight towards Liu to um, get to Catherine. Um, but yeah, see you guys in the next one. Thank you to TieFire02, Jamie Bull. Jada the Banana, Smidge, Rachel S, Ghost of Inazuma, Felicitas Felix, George Candelaria, Eskun, Yuld, Radish, and Poker Girl. Thank you all so much, and I will see you very, very soon. And the only thing to do is to let Bennett say goodbye.